things up a little bit and do an accessory for the Wii. And this time around, it's the flat panel 4X induction charging system. Whew, that's a lot to say. Basically, it's just a flat panel charger for the Wii. This is not the first charging system that I've owned. The very first one was a Nyko charging station. It was a cradle design that worked really well for two days. After two days, it fried both of my Wiimotes. Luckily for me, Nintendo was such a fantastic company that they replaced them all for free. They even shipped them to me in three days, so I didn't have to be without my Wii for very long. Of course, it didn't surprise me. Nintendo's always stood behind their products, and it has always quickly resolved any problem that I've called in about. When I got my new Wiimotes back, I chucked the Nyko charging station into the trash, and I've been using regular batteries ever since. Now, I know it might be a little unfair of me to blame the Nyko charging station, since I hear a lot of people do like it. This is just a very negative experience I had with the system. And if it works for you, great. For me, it was awful. Two years later, I saw this Energizer charging system on sale on Amazon. And I thought, why not give rechargeable batteries another go? Confident that if history repeated itself, I would still have Nintendo there to back me up. And you know what? I was pleasantly surprised on how well this product worked. Now these come in two different kinds, a 4X or a 2X. Basically, it can hold four Wiimotes or two Wiimotes. I have the four Wiimote version. In the 4X box, you get one charging pan and four of these. These are the battery packs that go on the back of the Wiimote. You can see it. There you go. Unfortunately, it only comes in white. It was very simple to use. You simply set the Wiimote down on the pad, and it will charge it. It'll give you a red indicator if it still needs to be charged, and a green indicator if it's fully charged. It'll work fine with or without the plastic sleeve, so you don't need to worry about that. The batteries won't last as long as a normal battery, but I would say you could go about three hours without having to worry about switching batteries or Wiimotes. It has magnets inside it that will keep your Wiimote in the best position for charging on the pad. Also, it's safe to the touch if you're worried about that. It's safe to the touch because it uses a special kind of charging technique called inductive charging. As Wikipedia puts it, inductive charging uses the electromagnetic field to transfer energy between two objects. Basically, it's just another way of saying it's a way of passively transferring energy from the pad to the Wiimote without needing to plug it in. Now, the 2X version will run you about $30, and the 4X version will be about $50. And yeah, that is kind of expensive for a recharging system. And I will be honest with you, I bought the 4X version for $20 on Amazon during a Black Friday sale. I think it's totally worth it at that price. $30 and $50 seems a bit high. I would have liked it if they were like $10 less on each one. But I have to admit, I really do like it as a charging system. It's very easy to use. But I'm going to say it's worth a buy when it gets a little bit cheaper. If you can find it for $20 or $40, go for it. But right now, you should probably skip it until it gets a little bit cheaper.